the realist would expect Manchester United to pick up all three points tomorrow. The dreamer will hope that Huddersfield Town can complete a league double. Is it important that your players are dreamers this weekend and they have that belief they can go there and win? I think it's more important that they have belief rather than that they, they, that they dream. I think we don't have to speak about who is the favourite, who, who, who isn't the favourite tomorrow. And at the end, for us, we have to be and we will be and we are <laughs> so excited about this uh, event which we have tomorrow. Old Trafford, Manchester United against Huddersfield Town in the Premier League. This uh, stays for itself and uh, after the experience we had in the first game here at home with our great support, uh, we are even more excited to play against them. Uh, and then we, like always, we go into this match, we will fight for every yard, we try our best and we will see what we can get out of this game, even if we know who is the favorite. But this doesn't change that we try everything to steal something out of this game and uh, this is our aim. Will the win against United at the John Smith Stadium have any bearing this weekend? Could it focus the Manchester United players or does it give your players the belief that they know they can beat them? No, at the end, what's going on in uh, United's dressing room and in, in United's players' heads, uh, this isn't something where I can think about. I know that of course, if you've done it once, you know even the impossible is possible in football. And this, is an, this was one of the examples where everything went in our favor. This is how it was and this is what you need. But first and foremost, you have to be on it. 100% you have to be really on it and you have to have the desire and the belief that you can get something out of the game. And this is what we have to do tomorrow. Anything else what happens, what we cannot influence, we have to accept. But our desire, our spirit, our belief, uh, this is what we have to bring on the grass and uh, this is our aim for tomorrow. What's it like preparing for a week with uh, a game at Old Trafford to come at the end? Do the players behave differently? Are they more excited about this sort of game perhaps because it's such a big occasion? Oh, I, uh, I think... So the, the behavior, of course, is um, differently, but more because of the results which we had in the past. Uh, the good thing is, as you said, now it's Man United, where nobody expects anything from us, so we can take this game with totally freedom. And this makes uh, the behavior maybe then of the players a little bit more positive than it usually will be. Uh, in, 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 in this moment which we have uh, now. But at the end, uh, it's the usual working routine which we have because I think the most important thing is that you be focused totally on yourself and on your work. Uh, it makes no sense to overthink situations, overthink circumstances. This are things you can waste your energy where because you cannot influence it. So be focused on your daily work, make sure that you make everything what you can influence as good as you can and prepare yourself as good as you can for the next challenge and this is the next game and this is how we work since we arrived. Don't overthink, don't get driven away in a positive or in a negative way. Be focused, uh, calm and make your day-by-day -day work and this is uh, the most important thing what you have to do in um, situations which we have or which we had because there is not a big difference if you fight for promotion or you fight for staying up it's the opposite of the table and it is maybe more enjoyable uh, to fight for promotion because you win more games but in both scenarios, you always think, oh, I, can, I cannot reach something. And uh, this is what you have to totally get out of your mind, be only focused on your day-by-day -day work. On, on Manchester United, their, their recent performance against Tottenham and thinking back to your performance against them at the John Smiths, have they in any way influenced your preparations and, and how you focused on this game? I wonder if 
you look at the the style or the manner of perhaps those defeats and, and maybe found any vulnerabilities that might help you at the weekend? No. The game which they played against Tottenham on Wednesday was a totally different game. So we cannot take anything out of this game. And injury news for the weekend, how, how are you looking at the moment? Uh, Danny Williams will be out with his dead leg. Uh, this uh, didn't improve like we hoped. And Chris Löwe has some uh, slight groin problems. He will be out for tomorrow probably as well. Not some, not a big issue, but uh, we don't like to take any risk with all the games which we have in front of us that he maybe can be out for a longer time. This is why he probably will be not involved tomorrow. And then we have the long-term injuries, uh, injury with Kashunga and Jon Stankovic, who is uh, back in training after his uh, serious injury. These are the four players who will not be available for tomorrow. Everybody else uh, looks fine, included uh, Terence Congolo, for example, who uh, felt ill after the game, uh, really ill immediately after the game. And uh, we were unsure what was with him. And this was why he went to hospital, uh, to hospital. but uh, after some investigations, he straight away went out and he was uh, on the grass yesterday, he trains with us uh, now, so he is fine.